Hi everyone, welcome to KubeCon. In this talk, I'm going to talk about how we use KubeVela and Dapper to develop and build microservice applications. Before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is pronounced as Hong Chao Dan. I'm currently working as a staff engineer at Alibaba and focusing on cloud native application delivery. I love open source and have been contributing quite a while. I am a committer of Kubevela, OAM, and Crossplane projects. In the following, I will first introduce Kubevela's background and overview. Then I will dive into its architecture and provide more detailed analysis. I will conclude Kubevela section with some of its key features for application management. And then I will give a brief introduction about Dapper. And finally, I will talk about how Alibaba uses Kubevela and Dapper in production and do a case study on application monitoring. First, let's talk about Kubevela. Uh, let me start with talking about the background first. Like delivering uh, applications on Kubernetes needs composing a couple of Kubernetes resources. For example, deployment, stateful set, ingress, services, etc. Uh, usually, we, we not only need to bundle all those resources into a package, but we also need a composition model to parameterize and connect those resources together. A few uh, projects uh, have, been, have been trying to solve these problems. Uh, one is called application CRD from the Kubernetes SIG. Why it's the earliest from upstream effort? It, it doesn't resolve any developer or operator concerns uh, so far other than providing like basic metadata. It doesn't work for application rollout for this reason. Um, and there isn't any active development on it as far as I can see. Another project that a lot of people use in production to manage applications is Ham. More specifically, like users just write some templates of uh, Kubernetes resources and put them in a bundle called chart. Uh, like why Ham chart? Like uh, a lot of people use it. Like they are two black box to users. Uh, the Ham chart is both as parameter values, which is hard to like understand and infer like operation resources uh, underneath. Additionally, the parameter values doesn't have API schema uh, defined for them. And finally, like char doesn't have any composition model that you can uh, use those modules of templates to just plug and play and, and like we use across different projects. So very often, uh, platform teams decide to build their in-house application CRDs to solve the problems I just discussed. Like for example, Pinterest has built its own uh, Pinterest service and Robinhood has its own like, application or CRD. Mm -hmm. um, but like developing such thing requires a strong Kubernetes development skills, which means like very high learning curve and very few people can do it and can deserve the time uh, to do it. And these APIs are usually very in-house and not generic for reuse or extension. So, so what Pinterest built for itself when we couldn't use it in Robinhood or other companies, right? And they only offer limited composition model for their own resources. So uh, like this is very in-house and not like generic uniform experience in the open source side. So um, the solutions that um, we, we, we talked about earlier had their own limitations and couldn't satisfy uh, many of the use cases we have seen. The application model we need are, are, are like at the end of the day bogged down to two requirements. Um, it should let platform teams expose high level APIs of only users' concerns and hide those infrastructure complexity. It should be, and second, it should be an extensible model that um, provides uniform experience to manage all CRDs and compose all resources on Kubernetes. Uh, not just like in-house or limited like resource set. So we would like to, basically, we would like to have the simplicity of the HAM values file and the structural experience of like those application CRDs uh, that we see from many, for Pinches or Robinhood, and also a extensible op open core model that like people can just uh, bring, bring their own uh, operations 
uh, resources and they just they can just compose them together. To satisfy these needs, we build a project called Cooked Vela. It's an application engine to assemble different resources and it's both high-level APIs. It's based on uh, open application uh, OAM open standard, uh, which is initiated by Alibaba and Microsoft. It uses Kubernetes as the control plane, um, and so you can use like kubectl to and all those tools you're familiar with Kubernetes to to do to like play with it. And uh, after its release in KubeCon North America last year, like Kubevela had become trending on GitHub right that day and have been growing ever since. So it's a active uh, growing project. So uh, here's uh, an architecture diagram of how uh, to deliver like applications on Kubevela. Like let's take a look. So uh, first the platform teams need to set up de deployment environments and capability templates. Basically, the capabilities are defined as workload or trait definitions, which include the templates to expose the high-level APIs. These definitions are all registered in Kubernetes as CRDs. When developer users want to deploy their apps, they choose the target environments and pick the high-level uh, templated APIs and compose application objects uh, and finally, roll out the applications objects to live clusters. So that's basically the general workflow. And here's a more details about like the Kubevela application object. An application uh, consists of multiple components. Each component is a separate service that contains the basic parameters to run a service workload. And a component could be attached with multiple chains. Um, and each chain is a operations enhancement to the app. Uh, for example, you, you may you might add auto scaling chain and to a component, and the component will, will have the op auto scaling operations like automatically done. And here, the component and chain definitions are also like fully extensible. You can add more like component type and chain types to it, and so that like your user can use it. Uh, also, we will look at that like later in for example. Uh, let's take a deeper look into the component definition object. Basically, it, it encapsulates a workload type that takes the major role to run the service. It provides a couple of templating methods and for platform teams to choose, you can use HAM, Q, or Terraform, like uh, HCL languages. Like it also writes back like, useful information in status. For example, the, the JSON schema of the expose parameters and there's other things like you can write like health chat back to the status as well so um, now let's take a deeper look into the chain definition object it reference to a CRD uh, that provides the operations capability it tells the workload types that it can apply to and it also provides a, a couple of templating methods for platform teams to choose, um, like, like you can use HAM, Q, or Terraform uh, to write the modules. Um, it also writes back uh, useful information in status, uh, just the JSON schema of the parameters. Now let's walk through an example how Kubernetes works in uh, like real world organizations. Uh, first, the platform team creates uh, an operator called Matrix. Um, they write a they write they, they use the matrix as a chain so they need to write the chain definition as a, a matrix um, YAML file and the platform admin like usually uh this is the platform team itself as well um, could execute the command to could apply these definitions files along with the operator resources onto the cluster uh, in this way the, the capability would be registered on Kubernetes uh, on Kubevela automatically uh, then the developer users uh, can just use the matrix as a chain in their application objects and, and finally roll out it uh, to, to dive. Know that like, uh, there's no need to restart or upgrade the platform itself. Uh, that's how um, you see like, like, uh, that's how Kubevela will, will, will take the registration and handle this automatically. 
and uh, that, that's you, you can see how could well solve some critical team collaboration problems uh, there are many other features uh, that we don't have enough time to cover the details uh, notably like we have the app, app application rollout object which is doing the progressive root upgrade also the app, app deployment uh, object that can do multi-cluster multi-revision uh, application rollout and there's some health policy to do health checking and custom status that you can write some status report using Q uh, and there's some catalog environment some control plane features as well now, if you're interested please uh, check out the website below um, and and secondly uh, let's talk about the dapper so dapper is a, a polyglot distributed uh, application runtime so this means like uh, it's it, it can work for multi languages it provides like build, basic building blocks such as uh, state management, uh, pub, pub sub, RPC routing, and actual programming models, is, is, etc. It like, is an extensible and pluggable design um, as a community driven open source project, and also like providing um, consistent, portable, and open uh, APIs. Uh, it's a platform agnostic, which means it could run on cloud or edge, like across uh, different clouds. Um, so, so that now finally, let, let's take a look at how Kubevela and Dapper are adopted and used in Alibaba. So, Alibaba like contributes a lot to both projects. Um, like, let's, we basically have like five committers on Kubevela and three committers on Dapper projects. Mm -hmm. And and like they are widely adopted in Alibaba. Like, we have more than ten platforms, like thousands of ads and like that that's running them in production and there are solutions across my like five industrial scenarios so let me give a case study of how we use Kubevela and Dapper to achieve application monitoring uh, we first developed the matrix chain that uh, basically uh, translates the app concern values which is the, the, the port and also the export type uh, into like Kubernetes resources that actually made the Dapper sidecar uh, and Dapper resources that will trigger the sidecar to collect matrix from the application port. Uh, the Dapper sidecar will then push the matrix uh, to open telemetry uh, collector, which will be a, uh, which is basically an intermediate storage. Um, the collector will finally uh, export the matrix data for external systems to consume and display, and, and that depends on the environment. Like, like for for uh, open source uh, users, like they can use uh, Prometheus and Grafana to to export the data to and um, and show it on Grafana dashboard. Uh, for uh, for cloud, uh, there are other uh, more smooth uh, integrations. Like we can use Alibaba Arm services or CloudWatch or Datadog, like those kind of services to to get the matches and show it on dashboard. Uh, all right, so that's basically uh, all I have to talk about uh, Kubevela and Dapper today. Uh, so if you're interested, definitely like follow us on Kubevela project and get, let us know if you have any questions. Yeah, thank you.